Well, good afternoon and welcome to the first ever Pennyweb video tutorial. We will be doing tutorials periodically from now on, helping many of you web enthusiasts and also customers of Pennyweb on how to do certain tasks on their website. Today we are adding a variable product to an e-commerce platform. Today we'll be working on Oceana Legends. This is a new e-commerce site we've just custom built for them. Uh, Dave and his very talented team there make exceptional rings, biker rings, skull rings, you know, alien versus predator rings. It's, it, it's just truly remarkable the attention to detail that they can put into these rings. Definitely check out the website when you can at oceana-legends.com. So let's get started. Once you've logged into your WordPress platform through the admin URL, you'll come to your dashboard. I'm sure many of you know what you're doing here. So we've got the WooCommerce down the left, and then underneath we've got products. So we go down to products, add new. Here we're going to add our product's name and then also the product description. So there we have it. We now have our title. We've now inputted our description. Uh, be sure to add any bump or text that you need on each product. So with, with Oceana Legends, we have the, the basic, you know, select your accurate ring size with a ring sizing guide link there. Once this is done, you need to apply the theme. Uh, now we've custom built this site for Oceana Legends and the theme we're using here is the product layout final. So they need to select that one. Uh, for normal WooCommerce sites, if you're a beginner, don't need to worry about that yet. Just leave it as it is. So once you've selected your, 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 your layout, you're then going down to this section here. Now here you're going to go from a simple product to a variable product. And you're going to start going through the tabs here on the left. So tax status, you know, this just says the same. This has been built into the WooCommerce already, the settings. Inventory. So we manage a stock here and we need an SKU. So I'm just going to enter that. Enable stock management. So at the moment we have 10 of those rings. We leave the rest here. Shipping. Again, we don't need to do anything on this this tab because it's already been built into the WooCommerce. Linked products. We always upsell our products on the cart. So we're going to enter five rings here. You just simply start typing the ring you want to put in. Once that's done, we now need to go down to the attributes. So here we need to add a custom product attribute. So we just select add. Here under name we're putting select ring size. It will be visible on the product page because the, the user will be selecting it and it will be used for variation as well as we need to put a price to the sizings. So here you're going to enter the values of the attributes and the variations. So if this is a ring product, so we're going to put the different ring sizes in. If it's jeans, it'll be jean sizes. Again, they need to be separated with the icon they've given there. So I'm just going to fill this one out. So once we've entered the, va the values there, we're just going to select save attributes. So that's going to be saved into the WooCommerce database. Once those attributes have been saved, we then go down to variations down here. From here, we're going to select create variations from all attributes, so you're not having to manually add them. So now you see we'll have all our variations listed. Now we need to apply the price to each variation. If you have a different product, um, that you know a, a different type of product, so green shoes are ten pound more, for example. I don't know, you know what Nike's like these days. So you can add a, a, a price to each variation. Uh, with this product, each variation is going to have the same price. So I'm just going to enter the same price for each variation. Select all and copy that price and just apply that price to every variation.
Once you've applied the price to each variation, we just click save changes. You've got to do this before you go in between pages as well here on the variations. You normally wouldn't have to do this, but there's a lot of variations for the rings. So that's it. You've now added the variations for the rings and you've applied the pricing. Now we're going to move on to the categories. So we need to select the, the category and the subcategory categories that this ring applies to. So obviously it's a ring, it is a biker ring, it is also an animal ring. And I believe it's slightly gothic, so I'm going to select gothic rings as well. Let me just scroll down the page a bit more. The next thing we need to do is apply the product image. So set product image, upload files, select file, snarling wolf ring. Once it's uploaded, select that ring, set as product image. Thumbnail will be generated. We'll then select product gallery, add product gallery images. Again, same process, upload rings, get the second snarling wolf ring. So once we've added the main product image and the images needed in the gallery, we simply scroll to the top well, midway, select publish. Our new variable products will be added to the site and database. Now we're going to just test the front end uh, to make sure it's all gone through okay. So we did put it under animal rings. And there is our snarling wolf ring. Always double check after adding a product that you just go through the text that it's the right break spaces and carry returns are, are, are there. So there you have it. We have our snarling wolf ring, our images and our variables all working as they should. So there, you've now added your very own variable product to WooCommerce. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you have, please give us a like or a comment. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or if you want any more information on what we do and how we can help you please visit us at pennyweb.co.uk have a great day bye